Hello and welcome to a video explaining the World Circuit's best tracks to earn fast credits on. This is going to be a three part series but today we're going to be starting with the Americas. The circuits we're going to be looking at today are Northern Isle Speedway, Blue Moon Bay, Willow Springs, Road America, Trial Mountain, Laguna Seca and Interlagos. As you can see next to it I've put brackets for how much you get for each track and how much you will earn at the bottom. This is my personal preference for the easiest tracks in the Americas, so if you have a different opinion, please share them below. So number one on the list is Northern Isle Speedway. Best strategy for this one is to simply just not brake and just let off if you feel like you need to. For earning gold in this challenge you will earn yourself 120,000 credits. The next track we are looking at is Blue Moon Bay. There are two variants of this one, however the first one is worth an easy amount of credits. Sector 1, what you're going to do is you're going to break at the 100 meter board swing into the inside of the track and then work your way to the outside of the track. Make sure to be feathering the throttle here to keep up the speed. Sector 2 is a relatively easy one. As you're going around the corner, make sure to full throttle. Then when you get to the braking point, down to fifth, stick to the inside of the track, and then work your way out. Now all you need to do is just put those two sectors together. This is a relatively easy one so you should have no problems doing this. For earning gold in this challenge, you should earn yourself 280,000 credits, giving you a total of 400,000 credits so far. The next track we are going to look at is Willow Springs. There are three different options to choose from here, however the first one is the easiest. Sector 1, you're going to break out the 100 meter board and, and hit the inside apex. You're going to break down into fourth. Swing a little bit wide to position yourself to be able to move back inwards. For sector 2 you're going to break up the 75 meter board, move your car to the inside of the track. For the next braking zone go wide, you can go a lot wider than I did here to give you a better exit.
down the hill, braking into second. Keep your car tight here because that undulation can unsettle the car and force you off track. For the braking zone in sector 3, you're going to brake wider in a straight line to give you a wider exit, to give you a wider angle to allow you to carry more speed. Putting all three of these sectors together can be quite difficult, especially as some corners are quite challenging. But when you earn gold in this challenge, you will feel a lot of accomplishment. Well, I know that I did anyway. When you have earned gold in this Wellow Springs challenge, you will earn yourself 648,000 credits, putting us at a total of 1,048,000 credits. The next track we are going to be looking at is Road Atlanta. In order to be successful at Road Atlanta, you always want to be a gear higher than what is recommended. So for here, for Turn one, you want to be in fourth gear, and for the upcoming chicane, you want to be in third gear. Sector 2 again, you want to be in one gear higher than what is recommended. So you want to be in third gear. Make sure you're as tight to the inside apex as you can. And then shift down into second. Sector 3, you can brake later here, you can brake at the 200 meter board. I run a little bit wide here, but if you're able to position your car over all three apexes, you can carry a lot more speed. And then it's flat out all the way to the line. Your hot lap, this can be quite a technically difficult track, but it's also a very fast one, so it can be quite enjoyable. 
Just remember to be a gear higher than what is recommended and to hit the inside as many apexes as you can. After earning gold at Road Atlanta, you will earn yourself 1,248,000 credits, giving us a total of 3,096,000. The next track we're going to look at is Trial Mountain. The first sector at Trial Mountain is arguably the most difficult and it will either make or break your lap. It's really important to get turn one right. You can use a lot of the curb there and a lot of the curb at turn two as well. Break later just before the tunnel and stick to the inside of the tunnel as close as possible. the start of sector two you want to focus on getting the first corner right you can position your car wider for a better exit allowing you to carry more speed as you come out through the tunnel stay in third gear don't go down into second like i did this will allow you to carry more speed This braking zone you want to break just after the orange sign on the right here. Try and keep it as narrow as possible going around the corner. And then we're braking as we get to the crest of the hill. When taking the last two corners, you want to take them as tight as possible to the apex as you possibly can. Especially the last one as it will allow you to carry more speed on the exit. When it comes to your hot lap, again, first sector is where you will gain or lose the most amount of time. I decided to put my ghost on for this one. As you can see, I was just over one tenth of completing this challenge from my first attempt. However, from this lap, I knew that the last two corners weren't very good. So I turned the ghost on just to make sure that I was still keeping time with the target time. Just like I mentioned in the sectors, you can see that being in third gear around this left-hander really helps me get a better exit.
for earning gold at Trial Mountain, you will earn yourself 1 million and 4,000 credits. Putting our total to 2 million and 52,000 credits. The next track we're going to look at is Laguna Seca. I personally found that the hot lap was the most challenging aspect of this. The one lap sectors themselves weren't too bad, but I really struggled in completing the lap within the amount, within the allocated time. As I mentioned before, I found this hot lap to be particularly challenging, so I turned my personal best ghost on and set it to be 0.4 seconds ahead. I found that going deep into this into the first two corners really allowed me to make up a lot of time. The next corner, positioning yourself on the left-hand side, going wide as possible down into second, really allows you to get a good exit. Obviously, avoid the sausage curbs. After this, break slightly, down into third, use as much curb on the left-hand side as possible. For this left-hander, you're braking just after the three board on the right-hand side, down into third gear. Stay as tight to that left-hand apex as you can. Obviously, I went a little bit wide, but that's fine. For the next corner, we're braking slightly at the two marker. Use all the track on the right-hand side as you can, set ourselves up for the chicane. When we get to the chicane, we're braking just before the three marker. We're aiming to get our left-hand tyres and then our right-hand tyres just on the green markings on the ground during the chicane. For the next corner, we're going to brake slightly and then aim for the inside apex. For the right-hander here, we're going to brake down into third onto the apex, avoid the sausage curb. Brake just at the three marker, down into second. It's really important we get good traction coming out this corner so we can maintain the speed coming up to the line. For earning all gold at Laguna Seca, you will earn yourself 1,008,000 credits, giving us a total of 3,060,000 credits. The final track we're going to focus on this video is Interlagos. Well, sector 1 at Interlagos, just be careful to not outbreak yourself. You can break at the 100 meter mark and you can also use a lot of the curbs here to make sure you get the good rotation.
Sectors 2 and 3 are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to commentate on those. Sector 4 was probably my most difficult one. The right hander coming up here, going down into first gear. Need to hug the apex on the right hand side there for a good exit. Making sure you get the second to last left hander right so you can get a good exit. Now the most challenging part of all, looping it all together. Breaking at the 100 meter board, stick to the inside as close to the apex as you can. Up into third gear when you got the car straight. As I was struggling with this lap I decided to turn my ghost on and it's currently on 0.4 ahead so this was a good marker for me to see where I was going wrong. At this point I thought I'd messed the lap up because all the time I'd gained through turns 1 and 2 I had just thrown away. As you're coming up to this right hander here, use the, all of the apex on the left hand side, brake early so you're able to hit the apex on the right hand side. As we're coming to this right hander I know we're equal with the ghost, need to focus on getting it right. Braking, down to first gear, making sure we get a good exit. Uh, at this point I'm thinking all we need to do is get a good exit out of this left hander and we've done it. Luckily I managed to do that. Ghost car is slightly edging ahead, but we need to remember it's 0.4 ahead of us so we're still going to get gold on this challenge. For earning gold at Interlagos, you will earn 1,254,000 credits, giving us a total of 4,304,000 credits. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. If you have any different opinions on the best tracks to do in the Americas, please share them below. I would greatly appreciate it and I'll give them a go myself.